Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today <coughs> it's cold and rainy and nasty. Uh, let's take a little road trip. The uh, Garrett County FFA is having their uh, annual farm equipment auction this morning. Now, I won't video anybody at the auction. I won't video them doing the auction. But I will take you and let you see what's available. Uh, we've got a county. Our county is only about 15,000 people. So this auction is not nearly as big as the one they have over in Lincoln County or the one they have in Madison County, the two larger counties on either side of us. But uh, it's good to go. I like to go and give a little donation to the FFA, Future Farmers of America, in case you don't know what that is. Uh, I like to do that and uh, just go and see the equipment. Most of the equipment is uh, big stuff. It's not stuff that... Uh, a small homestead might do. Now over in uh, Lincoln County, last time I went, there was a whole bunch of small implements. I picked up a couple of uh, things at a, at a decent price, but most things have a minimum price to start. So don't think you're going to go and pick up a plow for four dollars. It's just not going to happen. So let's go to the farm equipment auction. I'll show you the what's up for auction and that's what we're going to do let's do a road trip now you can see I live in farm country so there's going to be some good stuff at the farmer's auction, at the at the farmer's equipment auction. So let's get on down the road.
hog feeders. Mineral feeder. Oh, mineral feeders. Mineral okay. Feeders. I figured it might have been for hogs. Yeah. Uh, no, they meant to feed cattle. Just pick the flap up. Yeah. <clears throat> When I was a kid, we had something like that for hogs. I yeah, the they had <coughs> automatic lids feeders. On them. Yeah, they had lids on them. Yeah, you could carry them hogs for a half a mile each. Now they're popping yeah. pop the lids. or electric. I'm interested in an electric one. Gas. Nope. else I'd be interested in. Yeah. <laughs> Batwing mower. Now, in case you're wondering, that is what this looks like underneath. Those spin and the thing set over to keep from uh, from it throwing back on you. So it's on this arm out from the out from the tractor. This rake. It's too big for my track. I'd be interested in this three-point hay spear too. The double bottom plow is too big for my tractor. in that too.
baby you need a category two tractor sure does look nice though probably it hooks up on on this uh, it's not a bobcat i don't know what you call it a skid steer that bucket's about had it yeah but yeah, but if man just doing a few things, get it cheap. Yeah. I don't know, it still smells online. Yeah. Yeah, there ain't nothing cheap here. seeds right through the grass. size truck bed an eight footer won't fit mine you just never know what you're gonna see when you come here a little old camper turn that into a chicken coop
closure. needs a heater today. Yeah, I tell you what, I thought it was going to be a little bit warm, man. Okay. okay, there's the rules. Got my number. Okay. And on the back, you list what you bought. Right here is why you can't buy nothing or I can't. It's, uh, it's online, you know. It's easier to watch it here at the Dairy Queen with my phone. Well. See, I was interested in this, but I couldn't couldn't afford to to go. Now that was a good deal if if you needed a bush hog. Six fourteen. Six fourteen. Okay, I'm back in the truck. Uh, about froze me out. I may go back. I'm just sitting here for a few minutes to warm up a little bit. It's about uh, 41 degrees and the wind's blowing at about 20 miles an hour. So it's brutal out here. Uh, oh. Sit here and warm up just a little bit. Uh, just so you know, those uh, remember we I showed you the pic the pictures of the stuff. They're just selling the small stuff right now, so I've got to go back and look at the other stuff. I don't know if I'll buy anything or not. Uh, but you know, you saw the the video with all the nail guns sitting there. There's a bunch of nail guns and a bunch of saws, and that stuff was going for two and three dollars a piece. So. Yeah, were they all good? I'm sure that half of them were junk. But that was still pretty good for the area I'm in. Uh, there were some guys that bought as many as 10 at a time. 
So I'm sure that they're reselling them. They're probably taking them and cleaning them up and reselling them. Uh, I'm anxious to look. I would love to have a, a, a lift pole for my tractor. And uh, I don't know what all else. You saw the list. I walked through and showed you all the big stuff that was out there. But at this point, I'm about froze up. I don't know if it's worth staying or not. The way that this works is they sell this stuff and there's a 10% buyer's premium. There's a 10% added. And so the FFA club here in Garrett County gets, gets that 10%. Okay, so, and they may sell a piece of equipment here for $1,000. So Garrett County gets 100 bucks. All right, the FFA club. Uh, they had about 30 of those guns and they went for of nail guns and they went for three I think the first 10 went for three dollars a piece and the rest of them went for like two dollars a piece so we they were looking at I don't know 60 or 70 dollars so out of that FFA got seven bucks okay that's that's the way it works plus it's possible that some of those nail guns were donated. So the money that was paid for the guns goes to the FFA too. So that's what they told me at the trailer where I got my number. Uh, they told me that the FAA got 10% plus they got uh, some of the equipment here has been donated to the FFA. So they get that too. All right. Now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes once, sometimes five videos. just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell, it'll be right up here when you come to the channel. It'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So now, it's time for me to warm up and see if I'm going to go back out there. I may go get something to eat and then come back, but I don't know.